Right, guys. This will be the part two roundup for the second lot of fixtures that happened in the week three matches. This is going to cover two matches. The Old Wolf tie of the Memento Morris versus the Hairy Rainbows. And the Badlands Blackhawks versus the Hodgepodge Villains. Two teams fighting for that top of the league in two separate games here. And they're playing each other in the next fixture. Gonna get spicy. Let's see how we got on. The Memento Moris versus the Hairy Rainbows ended in a 2-1 victory for the Memento Moris. If not for a second half collapse, the Hairy Rainbows could have very, very well been on for a spectacular upset of the season. Scoring their second ever touchdown historically by their coach Tom. Well done, dude. You're getting better. Keep at it. But the Memento Moris, with the edging tactics and know-how, managed to get the upper hand and get that vital turnover in the second half, causing a 2-1 victory and a 1-0 victory on casualties. It was a meat fest. It was a slobber knocker. Not much in the way of Hurdy, because, you know, they are tough, they are stunty, and they are pains in the fucking bearded asses. Very, very interesting game. Not much more can be said going into the other fixture, the Badlands Blackhawks versus the Hodgepodge Villains. These little stunty little bastards continue to impress and improve and exceed expectations beyond all recognition. A clean 2-0 victory to the Hodgepodge Villains with a 1-0 on Kaz to the Badlands Blackhawks. But from what I've heard... The injury was not that bad, and the, the poor fella that did the casualty has since been eaten by his own players. Very, very upsetting. I'm sure all families involved have not been told they will not receive severance pay. They will be left out from the crowd. Looking at the table, as you can see, currently top of the table with three games won, hodgepodge villains with a touchdown difference of three and with their game against the hodgepodge villains coming up who were in a very close second with two wins one draw the touchdown difference of also three i would put my money on whoever wins that match probably got the league because if a victory from the hodgepodge villains is secured two point lead will be made if the memento mori's win surely be unsurmountable in third place, the Badland Blackhawks on one draw, one win, one loss. Followed by the Blue Shorts boys, so the Blackhawks are having it large in the middle of the pack on eight points. The Hairy Rainbows, for the first ever time, Tom, you have a team that is not, I repeat, not, last. You are fifth, which, considering a certain league, you were talking about big game in preseason you were expecting a clean breeze to the title you sir on five points also but on worse touchdown difference than the hairy rainbows with one draw two losses you holding up the board in the wooden spoon contention i will now show you all of the beautiful beautiful Touchdowns, casualties, and all things in between. As I resort these now into beautiful order. Top of the table, we have Quern Butler on five touchdowns, followed by Shufflefoot on three. And then a number of players, Bloomfield, Bloom Jr., Dan Sneerdwarf, Fancy, Griff Oberwald, Grizz, Larry Oleg, Muttley, Snotsinger, and Stella Jr. All on. I'm going now into the completion table, which. Oh no, this is the Kaz table. Look at the completions last. Surprisingly, not as many casualties as I would have expected. Like I said, this league is extremely close, but that is also because it is mildly uneventful. But. Some people like it like that. Joint top of the table, we have Scooby from the Tentacles Aurus on two. So despite being in the wooden spoon, you're in contention for the Kaz Trophy. 
Thunder Snork of the Badlands Blackhawks also on. On one, we have Choo Choo, Drimgrown, Elston Bender, Graymton Stem, Helms Nut, Huckleberry, Selwyn Kisser, Slays Cruelish, and Tread Foot. Looking in to the completions table, as I was going to say, you can see there is not much going on, but it also looks like, again, despite being in the Wooden Spoon Contenders, TC of Tentacles Arrows is running away with the completions trophy. So far, on four. Bully Oak Grove and Red Trunk Deep Root, both of the Hodgepodge villains on one, and Grill Steak Sneak, two shots boys, on one. It is going to be some interesting, interesting fixtures for the Lily May Secunda Division as Battlelands Blackhawks are going up against Tentacles R Us. We have the Harry Rainbows against the Blue Shorts Boys and the potential, almost definite league decider, Bento Morris versus the Hodgepodge villains. It is going to be interesting. It is going to be bloody. It is going to be fun. Please, do make sure you watch. Do make sure you listen. And for those uh, coaches, we salute you. Bye.